Stephanie McMahon, we're here at this great facility, and your husband Paul has been very instrumental in this, and also John Sabor. And I was just wondering, so much has happened, especially in this area, since John has joined WWE. So what has it been like with John and his input and his efforts? Uh, John Sabor in our company, sorry Shawn Michaels, is known as Mr. WrestleMania. Uh, because John Sabor has really been able to create this comprehensive package for WrestleMania, working with the uh, sports visitation bureaus, the different local governments, he's really working with all of the different pieces to really bring it all together for WWE. And speaking of John Sabor, just figured I might as well take the opportunity, since I'm talking about you, to present you to Barcelona. The Miami Herald. Country. That's correct, that's correct. And yes, you are responsible for bringing no. a lot of WWE business to the state of Florida. Vision, Paul and Stephanie. It's a teamwork, it's that's a teamwork, right. right? That's right, that's right. You did such an amazing job. I, I really We're in the middle of an interview, John. Well, <laughs> you could say that. That's did a good, an amazing job. That's a good quote. Go do your thing. I appreciate it. Go do your thing. <laughs> John's been incredible, and he's an incredible asset to our team. This area, Orlando, and even Miami, because you had WrestleMania in Miami, it's such an international base. How important is the international base for WWE? Well, as you know, WWE is a global company. We're in 150 countries and 30 different languages, and we're looking to expand that and really become more involved in each territory, whether that be locally here in Orlando or whether that be you know, around the world. We want to be engaged. We want to provide our pro-social uh, programs and really bring our superstars and divas to our fans because they live all over the world. Thank you, Stephanie.